we have our PMCS, our preventative maintenance checks, just to make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to, keep up on everything, make sure they're all right. Checking the electrolyte balance and the acid level, which is just to hold the charge and be able to transfer the power to wherever we need it. Um, so, you know, we just go there, the little float tester tells you if it's good, fair, needs to be recharged. Acid level, you just look at it, you can tell if it needs to be recharged. We need to pour more acid in there. You want to do the communication batteries and come back to these because they're running? All right. Uh, I was completely surprised. Jesus! We're going to go topside and do the communication batteries up there. No clue that we even had boats. I joined the Army just to join the Army. I didn't really care what I really did. I was going for a mechanical job to begin with, but it turned out that they offered me the watercraft engineering spot, and you know, I asked them what it was, because even the guy at MEPS, he didn't even know what it was. He'd never heard of it before. So we Googled it, uh, we talked to the Tampa unit where I'm from and everything, and they told me what it was all about, so I decided to do it. You know, we're the people that transport everything that they need, you know, to Iraq, Afghanistan, wherever they're stationed at, you know, that's what we do. We load it up, we get it there. It almost is like it's leaking. Is it? I think so. Because this cell right here was so low, I could I could see the actual power cell. It's hard at times, like but it it's a good job when you can do something and then look back and see, okay, this was broke, now it's fixed, and that's because we worked on it, we did what we needed to do, and now that that works, we can do stuff now. You got it, we're good. You got it back on. I enjoy it. I mean, I love it. Obviously, I've volunteered to come on the deployment. 